Hi, this is Gizmo. First, fresh back off some holiday time and having some heavy renovation done. So if you hear some sounds in the background, I apologize, but the show must go on. I am ramping down right now on nuclear winter. I hate long goodbyes. And it's time to refocus on what makes 76 good. So for today's video, I want to draw attention to five things that have been added to Fallout 76 since launch that make it a better game today. Number five, perk loadouts. This is one that had been a long time coming and then it came. Having different loadouts available at a touch of a button and the freedom to switch special points without spending your level up points is a game changer in that it can literally change the game you play or the way you play the game. Something not working, fix it. <laughs> Not enough damage, balance your perks better, or perk for a different weapon, it's all to play for. A bit more freedom when it comes to legendary perks would also be appreciated, please. At number 4, One Wasteland. This is a special one for me. You see, at the same time this dropped, I had just a few weeks earlier managed to procure what was then a meta weapon for me in the form of a blooded explosive fixer, which I traded for an insane amount of Ultra Sight 45 rounds. It took 10 days to craft the amount that was asked of me, but then this dropped. It effectively made my shiny new weapon into a paperweight. My life is nothing but a comedy. But it did bring enemies in areas that I had previously decided was too boring to play in up to a minimum of level 50. This had a few different upsides to it, not least of all lessening the times I had to run West Tech to level up. It made areas like Morgantown nice and actually interesting to wander around again and made the world feel bigger again, at least for me. And that weapon I still use and have just had to get better with it. You've got to do better. Number three, public teams. Public teams were an instant hit. And yes, while recluses moan at having to join others to get certain boosts, they are as open or closed as you choose yourself to be. Want to be silent and enjoy the perks it gives you after five minutes? Most people don't have a problem with it, but maybe, just maybe, you'll run across a friendly peep or two in the process. Give it a try. Number two, the scoreboard, a touchy one at best as we are now five seasons into this and many complain that Fallout 76 has fallen in line with most games of the genre and the scoreboard is dull and boring but when it first came out it got me to jump back into the game. I had considered at that point jacking it in as nothing seemed to be happening but the scoreboard got me playing again and for a while at least it was fun. It could still be fun if the challenges were actually challenging. Meat Week dailies have been kind of fun, as I love Meat Week, it's now my favourite seasonal event. But aside from that, they need to change things up, and soon for people to care any more going forward. Number 1. Player Vendors This time next year, we'll be millionaires. This actually came from a Facebook community member and I was stunned to realise that probably in all of the fuss about Wastelanders, the Brotherhood questline, Legendary Armour, that this single improvement brought the game into its own and made the world more real. Personally, I love the buzz of satisfaction when I hear that cash register ringing and the message that someone has bought something pops up. There are a few honourable mentions I would put forward that didn't make it onto the list. The stash box increases, legendary perks, though I really haven't found much outside of ammo crafting perk and the extended special stats to make me excited about them but some seem to love them legendary crafting legendary power armor and the like shelters is another neat addition though as yet underutilized still i do believe the five i picked however are those which influenced most how you play the game i will not add worlds to my list until it actually comes out and we will see if it flies at all but i have a special place reserved for that addition for five things that made the game worse thanks for watching and as always hit the like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.